picture after the detail from your part of the country. Join Mary and me for the ITV News at 6.30. Lives will be saved by a new scheme aimed at helping people who are feeling suicidal. Health professionals say it will stop vulnerable individuals getting lost in the system. Tracy McGee reports. The fact that suicide is no respecter of position or wealth was underlined with the shock revelation last week that Aris Robinson tried to take her own life. Today, at the launch of a new initiative to tackle suicide here, the man she made her chief opponent wished her well. I feel very sorry for Aris. Yes, I've crossed swords, but always on a political level. And I was doing my job, defending the health service and the people who work in it, delivering a service. Uh, and Aris believed that she was doing her job. So routinely we did uh, uh, clash. I never saw it as being personal. I don't believe she saw it as being personal. I'm very sorry for the way things have developed uh, in her career. Uh, I think that uh, she will be well looked after by our health service, a very good health service in Northern Ireland. And I wish her well and I hope to see a speedy recovery. The health minister was in the Ulster Hospital in Dundonald for the launch of the Card Before You Leave scheme. Anyone discharged from hospital or accident and emergency who needs ongoing help will be given this card and a commitment that they will be contacted by the mental health team. In the past, if people arrived at A&E and they were seen and assessed uh, and uh, seen as fit to go home, a referral letter would have went back to their GP and it could have taken quite some time for them to access mental health services. Now people are accessing mental health services an awful lot quicker. The scheme is the idea of Jared McCartan. His son Danny took his own life. He had first-hand experience of not being able to get help when his son was discharged from hospital. If Danny had been given a card before he left hospital. What difference would it have made to you and to your family? Well, it wouldn't have put, it wouldn't have put us under the stress that we were under because we were waking up every morning, waiting on the postman coming, waiting on the postman coming for a letter that never arrived. Now, what that card would have done, it would have given us hope. It would have given Danny hope. This scheme is being rolled out in hospitals across Northern Ireland. This card makes a commitment to people who are feeling suicidal that they won't fall through the system. And those behind the scheme say ultimately it will save lives. Tracy McGee, UTV Live at the Ulster Hospital. A new initiative on suicide. Well, while the worst of the